welcome to the first half of the League of Legends sneak peek for June 19th. We're covering the LPL and LCK in this video. Um, four matches to go over. Predict down in the comments who you think is going to win. I separate this from the LEC and LCS videos over the weekend because by the time the LCS is done, the turnaround from LCS to LPL is only a few hours. So it gives people ample time if they want to watch the sneak peek before the games occur in Asia. So, um... The LCK, we have the Telecom War, T1 and KT. Uh, T1 beat um, Nongshin Red Force 2-0. Uh, an interesting two games. And uh, KT lost to Gen G 2-0. Not in a massive way, but still sizable. Both teams are in my top 25 still. Um, my power rings come out every Thursday. Um, so, let's get into this. T1, I think, need to calm down a bit. And the, what I mean by that is Yasuo Bot's fun. Like, they're fun. They're really, really good. They're a super talented team. But um, if they want to continue being undefeated, at, uh, um, if they want to continue to be undefeated domestically, they can't get too crazy. Um, so I think they need to calm down a bit and just focus mid lane in this one. Um, KT with Rascal on top. I think Rascal will be able to handle Zayas pretty easily. Um, not that he's going to solo kill him or anything, but I expect that matchup to be real interesting but mid lanes where this game is going to be decided i think uh, kt needs to just put vikla in i don't know why aria is in the lineup to start the season um i don't care if he's looking better in scrims vikla looked better last year in real games and give bot some power um aiming and life are capable are they guma and carry and no but i think that they're a bot lane that can when things are in their favor really be competitive um, so I think they need to give bot lane a good matchup of your KT and swap out mids T1 Go after mid lane hard and um, you know, just don't you know get too crazy with your picks Sandbox and damn one sandbox surprised me beating um, Kwang Dong freaks 2-0 uh, Dom one barely beat uh, Fred at Breon Fred at Breon trying to put them to sleep um Damn one or number seven in my power rankings. So Sandbox, I was really surprised by how well Prince did. It was the first time I've seen Prince play. He's definitely better than Envy and Ice, and I thought he looked better with Cal as well. Um, Closer looked good. Krako looked really good. As uh, I mean, he always. I mean, Krako doesn't always look good. I almost said he always looks good, but um, Krako is one of their better players in my opinion. Dove and top lane's kind of a mess. So the way I look at it, Sandbox needs to give their bot lane a really, really good matchup i think the way to beat dom one is through bot um now with dom one's case i think solo lanes obviously are their strong suit i think you should go after dove hard um new give Nugri a really really good pick i don't care if he goes cal first i mean not cal geez yeah cal cal first strike in top lane if he does that and smashes dove gets out to near the lead and carries the game i wouldn't be at all surprised um Showmaker against Closer should be an interesting matchup. I would like to think that Canyon can really gap Krako if he wants to. Gets a good matchup. So Dom one, I think they just need to take care of the upper half of the rift and um, win through there and have Duck Dom and Kellen not lose to Prince and Kale because I think it's a possibility. Um, LPL, BLG, and Anyone's Legend. Both teams one and one. BLG top ten in my rankings though. They lost to LNG who also played today um, and beat ultra prime two to one in their last matchup now that was a close matchup blg are not quite as good as i thought they would be but they, i'm also you know i think it's going to take a little bit of time for them to get used to bin and top uh fofo is a problem though i think fofo stinks i saw they signed icon um today monday's news and notes video i'm gonna go over um signings and things like that because fpx have signed summit as well um, and maybe just look and see maybe if Icon's an upgrade over Fofa or not. If you watch the LPL comment down below, I'm going to be going over the stats anyways on Monday regardless. But um, Fofo is a problem. So, Solos can't int the game. Um, Bin can int the game. Um, I'm a big fan of Bin. When he's on, he's on. But when he's not, he's not. Against Anyone's Legend, I think you have to int to lose to them if you're BLG really. Anyone's Legend, I feel like, is really good team fighting team. Um, I said this the last time when they lost to LNG, um, and they just got beaten around the rift. Just doing B was all over the place and anyone's legend just couldn't respect prio and lanes and things like that. 
and they just got taken advantage of. So Forge needs to carry. I believe Forge is anyone's legend's best player right now, performing very well. Zhao Hao's okay. Um, but I, I could see this game series going three games, um, but I don't know if anyone's legend can pull it out. LNG and Thunder Talk. This will be an interesting one. LN, Victory 5 overlooked Thunder Talk in their first series, and um, although they 2 0 them, it was a tough one. Um, as far as LNG is concerned, uh, they beat anyone's legend, like I said, 2 0. And I think this matchup all comes down to Tarzan versus Beshwan. I think they should give Tarzan a carry instead of putting him on Saj or Trundle and let him beat Beshwan in the jungle. And when he beats Beshwan in the jungle, Thunder Talk have nothing to respond with. Um, Mucal's okay in mid, but he is not going to be able to match Do and B all over the rift. Bot lane, there is a gap there. Um, I mean, Thunder Talk really don't have much going for him. I mean, I give him credit. They really swapped out a lot of players in the offseason, and Beshwan is a player that I think really has improved the team, and they actually do have a threat. So LNG have to respect that, and it all comes down to if Tarzan can keep Beshwan under control. Comment down below with your opinion on these matchups. Predict the games if you'd like to. The pinned comment will be the um, current standings as we go through games, I think, after the uh, games in the LPL and LCK were done this morning. The LEC and LCS results will be added into that second half. So, um, yeah, predict the games below. Comment, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel for daily content. And thank you for watching.